somebody else was coming on. I, <laughs> I wondered like, why I'm... you were looking round. <laughs> but, like, can I just say, I've just caught sight of your fireman and it's just not doing anything for me. I don't know what that <laughs> is. <laughs> I don't know. Why is that? How is your lovely wife, Debbie? She's so fantastic. She's, uh, we've been married nine years and... Every day it gets better and better. Every room she's in is a better room. Aww. Do you know, I read a lovely quote from you and you said, I, I don't love her as much today as much as I will tomorrow. Yeah, that's absolutely true. And that's true. still how that's you lovely. feel and after nine the, years. You know, what I've really fully understood, and I never really understood it before, about people saying, oh, marriage is hard work. You have to work at it, and if you do, the rewards are untold. Does it help that she's a psychotherapist? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I talk, she listens. That's pretty much how that works. Yeah. What's really interesting, though, is I, mean, I remember doing various interviews. In fact, I think you were one of my first interviews in 1982 when mm -hmm. I came across. But you were one of the leaders, actually, in terms of coming out as being lesbian and having yeah. children and so on. Well, when I first came out, as far as I'm aware, Gloria, there wasn't a single out woman in public life. No. Uh, and I was told my career was over. But I think cancer, uh, secrets are a cancer of the soul. And I wasn't prepared to live like that. And I wasn't prepared for my children to live like that. And you and I had a wonderful interview. I remember. We did. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the, you know, I travel around the UK. The UK is a nicer, kinder place than any of our tabloid press would have us believe. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. it is not my experience. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Uh, the, back to your college days, there was an issue there with it as yeah, well. Yeah, well, they tried there? to send me down, as they say, in Cambridge to get rid of me uh, because they discovered that I was, uh, was gay. On what basis, though? Um, well, I just disrepute, you know, what a disgraceful <laughs> thing. Um, and then I was allowed to stay because of my excellent academic record. So the, the message is, you know, if you're going to be gay, please be clever <laughs> about <laughs> it. <laughs> and don't want everywhere. those stupid gay people. Those would be very really irritating. <laughs> but you're everywhere now. Every time I switch on the telly, you're either doing 15 to 1 or now you're going to take over QI. I am, from yes. Stephen Fry. Well done. Well, well done. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Have, have you. Have you started it? Uh, no, we start. Uh, well, I, we're preparing, but we start shooting yeah. next year. Um, but isn't it extraordinary that it's still a big deal that it's a woman who's taking over? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's sad. Ridiculous. We still, really. You know. And in a way, and I don't know if you guys feel like that when you're on telly. Sometimes you feel like you represent all womanhood and not just yeah. yourself. Yeah. Mm. But you were up for Have I Got News for You, weren't you? Uh, before Angus Dayton. Yeah. They made two pilots, one with Angus and one with myself, and they said we loved yours, Annie, but we can't possibly have a woman in charge of the news. Really? That categoric. Yeah. So why did they audition you? I, that I don't know. That a I little experiment. Know. Political yeah. correctness. Yes, you have yeah. to audition the <laughs> token woman. Yeah. 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 Right. And then yeah. give it to a man. Yes, yeah. But time, times have thankfully changed, though. They have, but we still could mm. do with moving on. You know, there are some great women presenting, like Sue Barker does a brilliant job on Question Sport, yeah. and Vic Vicky Corrin doing Only Connect, but you mm. run out pretty quickly of uh, But, you know, in women. sport, I mean, in, in, when I first started in broadcasting, there were, were virtually nobody, no woman in mm. sport. Mm. Now, everywhere, behind the scenes, in yeah. front of yeah. camera, lots of women in sport. Yeah. And, and you've left the news quiz, which is one of my favourite programmes. You're going to be desperately missed. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. Um, I had hosted it for nine years and uh, been associated with it for nearly a quarter of a century. Yeah. Um, but because I've involved myself now in a new political party, I felt it wasn't possible uh, for me to continue okay. to make political jokes. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I was trying to be, uh, I don't know, honest and have some integrity. Mm -hmm. uh, How's that working out with a political party when honesty <laughs> and integrity are your key? It's notes? a new idea. It's a whole new yeah, idea for politics yeah. that you tell that's the truth. What, that's what politics need it does. new ideas. It does, and, and it yeah. needs us to do it in a different way, mm -hmm. is what I think. Um, and I'm uh, very interested in it, great. actually. I really am. Can, well, I, can I join yes, your please. Women's <laughs> Equality Party? You may. We'd love to yeah. have you. And this is the wonderful thing about the party, is that we don't care what your political past is. We don't care if mm. you come from the left or from the right or from the centre. The fact is, from now to the end of this year, mm. by and large, women in this country are working for free. That's how big mm. the gender pay gap is. Mm. Uh, now, we first had the Equal Pay Act 45 years ago. How is it possible that there is still this mm. huge disparity between men and women's mm. pay? We need to sort it out. How mm. is it possible? <laughs> Sandy, I know. Yes. Yes. I'd be <laughs> hopeless as Prime Minister. So, are you, where do you think that mm -hmm. having children comes into the mix on how women are held back in the workplace? Because that is a big issue, isn't it? Is it? A massive it's where that we all sort of fall off a cliff yeah. around the time that we have children. Because you've got three children. I've got three children. Who are uh, now grown they're up. They're all grown up, yes, thank yeah. goodness. Grown up children are way better than small ones, can I just say? Because <laughs> uh, they have But views. you were obviously in a career where you could juggle a bit. Yeah. 
um, but I also took jobs um, where it was good for me to be able to take that job because I was able to stay home or able to pick up at the yeah. school gate or at least drop off at the school gate, all those things. So you, yeah. you, you change your career in order to fit in with the children. Uh, it is a serious issue. The new junior doctor's contract, which has caused so much controversy, impacts horribly on female doctors, of whom we have 77% of female yeah. doctors, mm. uh, who want to take time off to have mm. children and it hasn't been the focus. Uh, we need to look at all those issues. We need flexible working. Uh, we also need to look at paternity leave. Only 10% mm. of men take paternity leave. So how are we ever going to get equal childcare unless men are encouraged to take the time off that they should have to establish a strong contact with yeah. their child. So when you go on tour, are you actually raising money for your political party? Yeah, it's, it turns out politics is really expensive. Oh. Who knew? <laughs> if you wanted to stand yeah. as London mayor, you would need as a minimum £20,000. Wow, okay. okay. And that means a woman living on, you know, in a public sector job, in a, perhaps on an estate, who thinks she could change the face of London, Couldn't she probably afford can't to. afford to. Zach Goldsmith, he asks his mum and she gives him £50,000. So that's the that's difference. A good trick.